one. So another little project I'm gonna go today. Um, recently just finished this area for my little boy for his trampoline. Um, our garden slopes quite a lot down away from the house, so we needed to level this area off in order to put the trampoline on it. And we were quoted like excessive amounts of money. And you know, pandemic. So I thought I'd do it myself, got all the materials and leveled it off, managed to get it all done in about a week and a half, which is good. We had quite a lot of rain, so I had to like take a few days where I could only get out for like an hour and stuff in the sipping down rain, but ended up with some extra materials, namely six sleepers and ballast um, and the compost, which is currently acting as uh, an anchor because the ground's still too hard, still frozen, so I can't get the anchors into the trampoline. So the compost is going to go into two raised beds. We've got this area behind our shed up here, which is a bit dead, it's like dead ground. We've not really been able to do anything with it. It's just this like random gravel patch just here and this area just here. And for a while I've wanted to put in some raised beds for uh, ahead of the spring so we can get some veggies in the ground. So my plan is to make two raised beds, two boxes, and stack them one on top of the other, offset them into like an L shape. So let's see how it goes. The first step is going to be cutting some of these sleepers. I need to cut two of them in half, but the first one got a couple of pallets left over, so I'm going to rig up a little workbench with it. I just measured this one out, cut it in half. I need to start with two of them. So there'll be the, the short sides on each of the two boxes, and then the, the 1.2 meter length will be the long sides. <laughs> First one cut in half. Yes, with a handsaw, I am crazy. And they're also sweating like crazy as well. One. So there'll be the two short edges of the box. The 1.2 meter length being the long edges. Look at that grain, lovely. It's just softwood as well. It's just, um, it's not like reclaimed sleepers or anything. They're just 1.2 meter length uh, softwood sleepers. And um, they're treated. I'll need to treat that end. Uh, although I'll probably butt that, those, obviously they're gonna be butted up. On the inside so they'll be covered uh, unlike the other ends which have already been treated okay finally managed to get through the second piece of wood which was crazy it had some sort of weird knot um i just couldn't saw through it um but anyway so we got to the next stage i had a load of these screws left over from doing the rowing slippers down there so i'm literally gonna just butt them up against each other screw them in make two boxes then the next thing is going to be to mark out how much of this area I need to cut the grass I need to cut away, lift the turf up, and I think I'm going to have to cut away an area there and all the gravel, I'm going to shift all the gravel into the gap behind the shed, stick some weed, uh, weed proof membrane down and put the boxes on top, make sure it's all level, use the ballast to level it out. Job's a good one, hopefully, in theory. That's the theory anyway, we'll see how it goes. So this is the plan, two boxes like this, end to end, I'm just going to drill the coat screws in, butt them up to literally just into the end of the joint, straight in here, and it, they're self-driving, let's get the camera in the right place, they're self-driving so it'll just pull them together nice and tight, make sure it's all square. I have got some corner brackets so if I really wanted to I could stick some corner brackets in um, onto the inside but we'll see how sturdy it is, I might do that just for some extra stability. Um, and then get the membrane down, measure out where we're going to dig. Alright, so, coach screw, uh, literally butt these up against each other, make sure it's nice and level and tight. These are self-driving, so they're gonna, it's going to pull it in as I do it, so nice and easy. Right in the middle. Right, so first box is done. It's all drilled together. You can, I mean, I'm sure that people who are much better at DIY than I am, I don't claim to be good at DIY, DIY at all, complete amateur, uh, but people who are better than I am will have done some sort of dovetail joint or something better. 
I've literally just coat screw, coat screw straight in, pull it together into a box. There's going to be veggies growing in here. It doesn't have to look um, anything special. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do the corner brackets and I'm going to do the other box. I might have time today just to get started with the digging. So I just put the first corner bracket in, just thought I'd just let you guys have a look. See here, just four screws on each side. Probably could have done less to be honest, um, but I'm a bit of a stickler for following the rules. <laughs> if there's all those holes on there, then I feel like I need to put all the screws in. Um, too many, too many years doing Lego. Uh, right, let's pop this up here and I'll do the next. Okay, it's getting cold out here now. So, boxes are built, both of them all screwed together, all the brackets in. I've been measuring them uh, to make sure the first one. So I need to clear over here, I need to bring, uh, to get rid of about 12 centimetres of lawn. Uh, luckily it falls widthwise or lengthways, whichever you want to look at it, right up until we're the end of the gravelers. So I don't have to go into the flower bed too, which is good. Um, work out nicely. And uh, so yeah, I'm going to go straight across here, get rid of some turf. Alright, so original plan was to have them stacking like this stacking up on that end but as you can see there's quite a large gap underneath there I didn't factor in the slope uh, so I think a bit of a change of plan I'm gonna drop that one down into the soil as well and just have them next to each other um, but it will still be stepped because to get that down uh, level with it it's gonna be quite tricky it's absolutely tipping it down with rain now as well to make it even better I wanted to try and get this finished today might have to roll it onto another day